click on the subscribe button to watch more videos on my youtube channel and also click on this bell icon to get all notifications on your mail hi friends in this video i am going to explain 180 degree elbow uh, in 3d in autocad by using the autocad software First of all, I already explained the 90 degree elbow of the 3D model and the 2D model. You can also watch my previous tutorials. If you go on to the playlist on the Preserve Visual Design Guide on my channel, you can observe that these are the different types of concepts I explained. Uh, welding designs and the calculation stiffness, some of the uh, concepts I explained uh, by using the uh, some calculations. And you can observe the elbow pipe fitting designs on the playlist. You can observe the elbow pipe fitting design videos. You can observe here I am already explained the 180 degree 90 degree long radius elbows and the concentric reducer 3d also in this you can observe the 180 degree long radius 3d in katia and the 2d detail explanation of this drawing uh, before you want to develop the any of the 3d model the 2d drawing the detailing of the 2d modeling uh, of drawing is required first of all open the uh, autocad new file uh, i will show the uh, this is the previous uh, tutorial explained what i Developed this is the respective dimensions you can observe on the screen. Uh, radius is 114.3 and thickness of this 5.5 of the elbow and the bend and 88.9 is the outer diameter and 77.9 is the uh, internal diameter of the 180 degree long radius of schedule 40 of some of the 8 3 inch uh, L bend it is 80 mm in dimensions all dimensions are in mm first of all open the autocad new file open with no template material and all the dimensions are in mm uh, give the units to mm millimeters i am saving this file to the desktop for example i degree elbow 3d and click on save option you can observe the save is completed 180 degree elbow 3d and 180 degree elbow 2d or this you can observe on this uh, this is the dimensions already mentioned all of the drawing already explanation of the videos available in my uh, channel you can also watch the 2d detail explanation uh, in this video i'm going to explain the 3d model first go on to the 3d modeling of the workbench of autocad uh, and switch on to 3d modeling and specify the circle diameter of uh, 114.3 i think with a diameter radius give the radius of 114.3 radius of 114.3 and check the dimension on the annotate you can observe on that uh, 3d model you can observe on the sixth panel you can observe the panel over here and six select the radius annotate and radius is 114.3 you want to change the dimension styles you can also change the dimension style i'm giving the text height to 10 and the arrow size to 5 and click on ok like this you can uh, change the dimension style also radius is 114.3 one of the circle is created and after that uh, 180 degree 90 degrees is the half 180 degrees is the full this is the 360 degrees circle on the angles you can measure on the single angle one degree and i am i want the 180 degree then only i am deleting the uh, trimming the other object i will show the angle by using the angler so 90 plus 90 is equal to 180 uh, you can i'm deleting this i am deleting by using the trim operation delete the other part half of the part is required to develop see the arc is required of simply of the in between the what is the radius is 114.3 that is required and the by using the internal diameter um, and the thickness uh, you can give the outer diameter of the 3d model i will show you how to develop this and already explained 90 degrees same process to this i'm going to the surface uh, uh, panel and go on to the top workbench on top you can observe i'm going to the top for example i'm going to 3df orbit it is the arc is look like this simply going to the uh, view different types of views to change to i want to create the one of the circle diameter of 77.9 because this is the internal diameter and specify the 77.9 and click on enter see the circle is created the circle is uh, uh, correct or not check the dimensions once 77.9 um for using the 3df orbit you can check this see the circle is not in the proper position in the left view i will show, change the view for example in the left view the circle is similarly parallel to the both of the arc and the circle i am going to the front view simply draw the one of the circle over here 
after giving the circle of 77.9 diameter and select the it is over here and 3d f orbit and move the operation to the first point and the second point intersect to this and go into the southwest isometric and go into the surface first create the surface go into the sweep operation select the circle and select the arc next and click on enter 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 you can observe the uh, the realistic uh, i'm changing to realistic then surface model is created without giving the thickness the model is created this is the 77.9 internal diameter and the 114.3 of radius of the arc we will create this by using this method of the surface modeling and go into after that i will explain with the solid how to give the thickness uh, to this 5.5 go into solid and thicken and select the total object over here and click on enter specify the thickness 5.5 and you can observe the 88.9 od outer diameter is also created and thickness of 5.5 is created you can observe uh, the thickness the surface model is simply created to the solid model by using the simple technique thickness this is very fast uh, um, to create by using this method and you can observe the uh, the 20 degree 180 degree elbow created you can also give the uh, chamfers and the radius to the edges also by using the fillet edge and go into the top you can observe the top view same as on the 2d what is created 88.9 and i will show the outer diameter is created or not the thickness value is exactly created 5.5 or not in 3d and go into the annotate and go into the linear option over here and select the first point and second point see the 88.9 is the outer diameter before in the surface you created 77.9 see uh, simply you can create this you can also adjust this uh, uh, to this uh, any points you can also find the 77.9 internal diameter also uh, this is the 3d model uh, you can also convert to the 2d and you can uh, extract all of the trace all the dimensions by using you can uh, specify the height also all are same and 88.9 is the you can observe the outer diameter skater this is the simple method to develop the 90 degrees elbows or 180 degree in next tutorial i will explain uh, the concentric reducers i will explain in the t-pipe joint also i will explain by how to how to use this autocad software uh, by using that type of objects and you can observe the visual edge you can change the viewport configuration also and go into the four equal parts you want to change or uh, trace the dimensions the viewport configuration is very helpful on the visual edge. you can give the realistic styles and the materials to the object also I am rotating this object to the isometric view. For example, it is I want to this is in the front view, top view, side view, uh, right view, left view. Like this, you can adjust these parts, and you can also print the file on the image. You can format, you can save this. You can also save the file as PDF also available in the software. You can observe the 90 degree elbow is perfectly created. I am changing the all of the views how to look like this all of the views in the single view it is not possible in viewport configuration if you're on the model viewport just you can also custom the viewport also as your wish you can give the custom viewport by using the settings model viewport settings and you can observe the i am changing the all of the views in nearly uh, about 10 views are available southeast isometric and northeast isometric southwest northwest like this you can observe the all of the views is uh, the second one is on the one of the isometric view you can see this is on the top bottom view this is on the one of the isometric view like this you can adjust the all of the dimensions uh, also you can also edit the dimensions and trace the dimensions by using this viewport configuration um, you can also render the size to medium or uh, render in the windows and the render in the region also uh, you can also give the camera options already explained some of the basic tutorials in my uh, channel you can also observe the how to create the lights and the shadows uh, in the visualization tool the visualization tool is very helpful to um, uh, trace the objects or to highlight the uh, modeling objects to the perfect uh, to the client you can observe the visualization tool has the different types of features are available in the visualization toolbar this is the uh, simple model